Hi, in this video I aim to cover every movement technique in Boring Man, including ones which are not well spread or were not published anywhere before. This video is categorized into level of understanding of the game's mechanics. Bring it back. Bunny hops are performed by jumping right as you hit the ground. You will know that you have performed a bunny hop when you only hear a ground touch noise and not the normal jump noise. You can also distinguish between jump and bunny hop with jump particles. Bunny hops can slowly build up momentum. Their strong point lies within keeping momentum. This is the jetpack hop. Jetpack hops build up momentum much slower than bunny hops, but they can also preserve more momentum. A ladder roll is performed by rolling, grabbing onto a ladder and letting go by moving to the right or left. The moment you leave the ladder, the momentum of a roll and leaving a ladder are combined into one motion. A sable roll is performed by jumping to the right or left and pressing your roll key shortly after. You can perform ladder rolls with all kinds of roll variants. A sable ladder roll may be useful in some situations. Pro. You do a platform cancel by pressing your down key two times. You can input a roll with the first or second down key press. You can perform a roll cancel by moving into the opposite direction of your initial roll. This may be used to evade bullets or juke opponents. You can gain more height with a sable roll into roll cancel compared to a normal jump. For performing a roof roll or sogo roll you have to roll in a direction shortly after touching a roof. To perform a roll wall jump, you roll onto the side of a block and jump off of it. You can climb Dyson City's mid tower without risking your life in bottom mid, but you don't always have a roof at access. Luckily, sable roll wall jumps exist. A practical roll wall jump everybody should use. You can control a jump's height by the duration you hold your jump key. That will also affect the height of a sable roll. Coyote has already covered the sable jump, a jetpack hop sable roll in a video. Link in the info box and video description. You can grab and let go of more ladders while you are in your initial ladder roll momentum to gain more momentum and travel a longer distance. The concept of every movement technique is to combine momentum. You can also combine momentum of a movement technique with momentum of a boost weapon. So jetpack hop into boost to gain more height and travel longer distances vertically, or wall jump or ladder roll into boost to travel longer distances horizontally. Grapple rolls exist. Boost into jetpack hop or bunny hop to travel longer distances horizontally also works. You can also gain more momentum by getting damaged by enemies with hand cannon, burst pistol or anything else with knockback. Or you just damage yourself. I have already posted a video about dog leaves which is linked in the info box and video description. One thing I didn't realize until shortly after posting the video is that when changing your wall jump mode from jump to move, the game will input dark leaps automatically for you as long as you hold down your directional key. So how do you change that? You can either change this in the main menu or the in-game menu. You can access the in-game menu through pressing escape. You will then find the setting under options and controls. Just click on it to change it. I will cover the advantages and disadvantages of this change after mentioning all dog leap variants. Other than instant and distant slow roll dog leaps and distant normal roll dog leaps which were covered in my video, you can do an instant normal roll dog leap. You can do dog leaps off of stairs, unbroken windows and with platforms in the way.
You can slow roll from within a one block high gap and perform a dog leap. You can also perform a dog leap off of an edge roll. Edge rolls will be covered later on in this section. Here is a list of all the currently known dog leap variants. It may not have been very obvious in my previous video, but dog leaps ignore weight. See my dual chain gun rush clip on foot tops in the outro and provide the highest momentum out of all movement techniques for combining with boost weapon momentum. See the clip of Dark Rice Cake rushing with lightning gun and auto shotgun on ice station in the outro. Changing your wall jump mode to move means that the game will input every possible wall jump as long as you move away from the wall of interest by holding the appropriate directional key. This has disadvantages like not being able to slowly slide off of a wall and climbing walls up slower due to having to move in the opposite direction of the wall for performing a wall jump. You lose control, but trade it off for consistent dog leaps. I'm not a fan of it, but players like Cygnus, Abaddon, Prop, Himeshi, most likely Dog Rice Cake and many more have shown that you can successfully play with it. With your FPS at at least 120 and a decent keyboard, you should be able to consistently do dog leaps without changing your wall jump mode. I may be the only player seriously attempting that. With the wall jump mode change, you also gain the ability to climb up vertical one block wide tunnels faster and are able to do two stage jumps. In the following clip I have wall jump mode set to move. I will pause the clip to explain the two stage jump. With an air jump I will graze the bottom edge of the block which is enough for the game to input a wall jump. With this technique you can gain height without danger and time waste since you will skip air jump frames. The wall jump will also recover your air jump. This is mainly useful for non jetpack users. When failing the input you will most likely be put into a free fall without an air jump so it is not advisable to use unless you can do it consistently. Like Dog Rice Cake, who has discovered this technique. Normally, when you touch a block and jump off of it, it makes a block touch noise. Now let's watch this clip. Noticed anything? No block touch sound, right? When jumping off of a block with previously small downwards momentum, the block touch noise will not play, even though you're jumping off of a block. But there's still that pesky jump noise playing. Okay, let's try with bunny hops. Huh? No sound at all? I call this the light step. Bunny hopping without sound. This will not work with jetpack equipped. So far I've only been able to do it in smaller gaps and on shorter slopes. You may slow yourself down through methods other than wasting your air jump right after bunny hop which will allow you to do this any way you want to. However, from my viewpoint this is the only method where no sound is created. When holding down your jump key and climbing a slope you will perform multiple jumps depending on your weight. For each weight there is an ideal duration to and ideal delay between holding down your jump key. A perfect wall jump is performed by pressing your jump key the moment you leave a block. When scraping the top edge of a block with upwards momentum and holding your roll key, you will perform a roll which is shorter and slower than a sable roll. You can perform a dog leap off of an edge roll, but to be fair, in almost all situations, you can do a slow roll dog leap instead. You can perform an edge ladder roll, which has a different trajectory and less momentum compared to a normal ladder roll. This may be useful on the train map, but you would most likely want to do dog leaps instead. When rolling at the perfect time, you will keep your horizontal roll speed while also keeping a small amount of upwards momentum. When not moving into a direction and touching a block sledge underwater, you can perform a wall jump. This may be faster than swimming normally on sewers, for example. Rolls, logo rolls, and roll wall jumps also have high horizontal speed underwater. This video did not cover ideal routes because, in my opinion, you should find your own most ideal route on a map. I also don't know for sure if my routes are the most optimal. Be creative. With all the tools given in this video, you should be able to develop your personal most ideal way of moving. Bonus. You can perform a sable roll off of the upwards momentum of a roll cancel.
so you can skip the stun frames after a roll and continuously roll similar to small sable rolls. A continuous roll with switching directions with every roll cancel is humanly possible to input. So far I have failed to do continuous rolls in one direction. Vio can only do them in one direction, but we suspect that this is caused by his keyboard having ghosting on A and D. When holding A and pressing D, it only sends D for a very small duration. You can roll cancel shortly after performing a sogo roll. With the height gain of the roll cancel you can reach the roof and perform another sogo roll. This way you can continuously sogo roll. This time inputs without directional switch are humanly possible. On Sewers, this is how to annoy your fellow teammates. But this also marks the spot where you can roll between the small gap while keeping a normal roll speed. On the opposite side you don't need specific positioning. Just roll at it and go wild. Avoid jump pads. You can do dog leaps on food tops. To be fair, you shouldn't avoid jump pads all the time. Their vertical boost is useful at times and you can roll wall jump with the help of them. You can stand on the side of a block with a spike on top of it. You can stay in the air by repeatedly grappling onto a drone. This should be enough for a surprise attack in one round. You could also throw your drone off screen and grapple onto that. That's it. Good luck and have fun. Bye! Wenn du da bist, kann ich nicht mehr atmen Stell ich mir die Frage, womit hab ich das verdient? Ich scheiß auf alles, steig ins Auto, fahre Folge dieser Straße, die mich endlich zu dir bringt Und wenn du da bist, kann ich nicht mehr atmen Stell ich mir die Frage, womit hab ich das verdient? Ich scheiß auf alles, steig ins Auto, fahre Folge dieser Straße, die mich endlich zu dir bringt ja, yeah. was ist mit mir? Kenn sowas nicht, warum kribbelt's hier? Normalerweise fühle ich nichts nicht mit dir. In meine dunkle Seele kommt jetzt Licht ins Spiel. Ich hab was gemacht, was ich lange nicht hab. Ich glaub, als du da warst, da hab ich gelacht. Lang nicht gemacht und es hat erst geschmerzt. Aber als ich's getan hab, da war es das wert. Ey, ich glaube, das war sowas wie Schicksal. Ich wäre nicht mehr da, wärst du nicht da. Die Menschen, Idioten und Wichser, doch du hast gezeigt, dass es auch Gute gibt, ja. Es wurde mir alles zu viel, doch du bringst mich runter, du bist mein Ventil. Ich weiß nicht, was gerade so mit mir passiert, doch ich glaube, du killst diesen Dämon in mir. Die pechschwarzen Wolken verziehen sich, verschwinden dann, wenn du bei mir bist. Mein Kopf ist ein Chaos, doch du räumst es auf und das erst auf, wenn alles sortiert ist. Ich frage mich immer, wo du so lang warst, habe gewartet und das jeden Tag. Ich war verloren, war so am Verzweifeln, doch alles gut, jetzt bist du da. Was hast du mit mir gemacht? Sowas nie getan, erkenne mich schon selbst nicht mehr Oh mir ist alles scheißegal, bist du schon wieder da Existiert für mich die Welt nicht mehr Und wenn du da bist, kann ich nicht mehr atmen Stell ich mir die Frage, womit hab ich das verdient? Ich scheiß auf alles, steig ins Auto, fahre, folge dieser Straße